Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now, I'll be doing one such question that came in your JEE main examination. This question came on 26 August 2021 and this question came on second shift. So let us see this question first. The question says, uh, if the maximum value of the accelerating potential provided by a radio, by, by a ratio, radio frequency oscillator, Okay, which is 12 kilovolt. That means if, if if it is a frequency oscillator, that means it we have taken a cyclotron. A cyclotron we already know ha having two Ds. Cyclotron is having two Ds, and they have been given a potential of 12 kilovolt. Within the cyclotron, any charged particle will keep on accelerating. Okay. So the number of revolution made by the proton, which is a revolving particle over here, in a cyclotron to achieve one sixth of the speed of light. So what should be the number of revolution by this proton so that it achieves a speed of one sixth of the speed of light? Okay, and the mass of proton is also given to you, and electron uh, mass of uh, the charge of electron is also given to you and speed of light is also given to you. We already know that it has got consistent, uh, this cyclotron consists of 2Ds. Okay. For each half revolution, uh, the work done by this cyclotron would be increase in its kinetic energy of that charge particle. Okay. For, for half revolution and for complete one revolution, uh, for complete one revolution, the work, uh, this cyclotron will do double the work. Okay, so the work done by the cyclotron, the, the double work done by the cyclotron would be increase in its kinetic energy of the charged particle. Okay, so that means if a charged particle whose charge is E, which is all, also given to you, which is a proton over here, is E, so that means this charged particle would, um, the, the cyclotron will work on it and this work done would be equal to Q into V, where V is the potential difference again this is for half revolution okay this is a work done for half revolution for one one complete revolution it would must be equal to 2 q into v we already know that potential is nothing but work done per unit charge hai na? so this work done by this any uh, work done on the charge must be equal to q into v so this is the value that we are getting again the work is done twice so that's why this has to be 2 okay so this is for one revolution. Suppose the n number of revolution has taken place in order to achieve the speed of light to be one sixth. So this is the total number of work done that has to be given to the charge body in order to gain the kinetic energy in which the speed of this particle is one sixth. Okay, so one sixth of the speed of light. So this is the expression that you need to solve, okay? And and that need to solve from these equations. So it must be equal to putting the value. What we will be getting as two into electron uh, protons charges one point six into ten raised to power minus nineteen, okay? Then multiplied by potential, which is twelve kilo. So kilo is nothing but ten raised to power three volt, okay? So this must be equal to half mass of proton which is 1.67 into 10 raised to power minus 27 divided by speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 divided by 6 ka whole square so this is the expression that you are getting you have to solve this expression solve it then you will get the value of number of revolution of this particular a charge particle. So, how many in the revolution it will uh, gonna take place? Okay. Solve this expression. The expression that you'll be getting as 543. It is close to 543. Okay. So, the number of revolution made by this particle during the entire uh, work done is 543. Okay. In order to achieve the speed of light, which is one sixth of the speed of light. Okay. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.